So this is a lift up to the room. It's quite a nice lift, very well maintained, very modern. Kind of like the rest of the hotel, really. Now, when we arrived last night, we're looking for our rooms. We're in 507 and 511. We realise that there's actually no logic to the room numbering. Because 507 isn't next to 505, 506, 508 or 509. It's next to 511, which is good because it's what we wanted. But it's a bit weird as well. Anyway, here's our room, 507. We'll have a look inside. So, welcome to room 507 at the Setia Beach Hotel in Marmaris. We've been here for two days, so the room uh, has been used. is isn't as spick and span as it often is on my reviews, but please forgive me for that. We arrived at uh, about 4.35 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't really feel like making a video upon arrival. And I think my wife would have killed me. I had done. So, we'll just have a quick spin around the room and then I'll talk you through what we've got. So this is a standard uh, double room but it's actually got sleeping space for three people because after the double bed, which is two singles pushed together, there is in fact the uh, chair over there which pulls out to make another bed. It's actually very comfortable. The beds are incredibly comfortable. I cannot stress enough how comfortable these beds are. Uh, the quilts are lovely. It's so nice not to have a scratchy blanket and a sheet. And the pillows are fabulous. Actually really fluffy, comfortable pillows. And so often when I come abroad, all I'm left with is a flat as a pancake pillow and only one of them. And we get two each year, so really good. As you can see from the decor in the room, the room is nicely um, maintained and uh, decorated and there's some good facilities in here. Now one of the things that is unusual for a hotel um, in a beachy area is carpet. But the floors in these rooms and in the corridors are all carpeted, which means that the hotel is generally quieter. You don't get the noise of people's chairs being dragged across the floor above you. You know that familiar noise, that scratching, scraping noise? You don't hear that whatsoever here, which is really good. So the room itself is a, it's a warm and comfortable room. It's a little bit too warm at times. There is air conditioning, which we have paid for. Well, sorry, we haven't paid for because you don't need to pay for it. So let me rephrase that. And it's on the coldest setting. It's just come on again now because I've just turned it on. But after a few minutes, it seems to die down and do nothing. So it's either not very good air conditioning, or, well, I don't really know what else to say. Anyway, there's a, a good size uh, table there, which you can use as a desk or a vanity table, and there's a chair which you can pull at it. There's a television which has got international channels, including Turkish. Uh, British and Russian. There's BBC News on there and other things like that. Um, we've got this chair here and then we have the room joining doors with next door. So we've got the room next door as well because our kids are in there. Um, and they've got 511, we've got 507. So you get next to the beds, you've got these bedside uh, things for which is stuffed with clothing mine. There is a bit of a lack of uh, clothing storage space here, that's something I must point out. Um, bedside lights, comfy headboards, telephone on that side. 
um, and a draw just there on that one side only but not on that side. Um, full length mirror and lamp. Yo. So the wardrobe is here, I can open it, it's a bit slippy slidy. You've got to grip it on this end and pull it. So this is what you get. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coat hangers, which for two people for a week isn't very much. And they're the only two sort of clothing drawers. So one suggestion for this for the Setia Beach would be more storage space for clothing and more coat hangers. There's a safe down there, which is one where you put your own combination in, but in order to use the safe you have to get a code from reception, which invariably is not free. Um, that said, it wasn't um, expensive. I think it worked out at 30 lira for the week, which is about £10 or thereabouts. I must point out inside here is the minibar. And unlike many minibars, everything that's in it, in fact most of it's gone now actually, but there were several bottle, a couple of bottles of water more, uh, a couple of cans as well of uh, pop, everything that's in there is free. So once it's gone, it's gone. That's basically how it works. We're on all-inclusive, which is why we've got that freeness, and here's the all-inclusive wristband, as you can see, set here on it. And this entitles you to um, basically everything that you could want, reasonably. From uh, There's three different breakfasts. There's an early breakfast, there's a mid-morning breakfast, and then there's a late-morning breakfast. Um, it's not English style, obviously, it's all Turkish style breakfast, but there is a, a continental croissant pastry option amongst them. Uh, then there's lunch, which is 12 to 2. And then if you're hungry after lunch, there are burgers and chips served at the bar. And then there's also ice creams. And then you've got your dinner. And then for those that need to eat late at night, then there's more burgers and chips. And then at midnight, there's soup. So you've got food all day. In terms of drink, uh, there is alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks available um, pretty much from breakfast. Well, sorry, the alcoholic drinks are available from 10 o'clock in the morning until midnight. And the non-alcoholic drinks are available from breakfast until uh, midnight, basically, including tea and coffee and juices. The alcoholic drinks are local lager, Ephes, um, local wine, which is called Asma, red and white. The white's okay. I've not tried the red. And then there's vodka, gin, whiskey, um, a banana liqueur, a coconut liqueur, and something green. There's not really a lot more than that. But, you know, we've been fine on that. And obviously, you know, you can have vodka cokes and stuff like that. Um, there's also a cocktail of the day, which is included on the all-inclusive as well. Right. The bathroom. So, the, first of all, something to point out. That there's these lips here that are a bit trippy, so just be careful. Not trippy in the whoa, trippy sense. Although that wallpaper's a bit whoa, trippy. So, unusual to get wallpaper in a bathroom, but it just adds to the sort of nice, cosy feel. And look at that shower. Fabulous. So you've got a proper rainfall shower that gives you a good soaking just there. There's free Dove, which is provided, shower gel. It's either genuine Dove or it's genuine fake, I don't know what, but uh, it does the trick anyway. And so if you don't want to use that shower head, then you can use that shower head. And you can wash your feet with the tap as well. So, really nice size, although a little bit slippy on the feet. So you either need to put a towel down in there and get that soaking wet, or go in with some flip-flops on. There's a handrail there, and there's one on the outside just here. For people that might need to use them. And we've got the toilet, where well, you're not supposed to flush the toilet paper, etc. We have done, but you know, we like to live dangerously. Um, I just can't get my head round putting soiled toilet paper in a bin. Uh, and then obviously we've got all this space here and yeah, like I said, there's a bit of a mess because that's we're, because we're living in this room now and then we've got our stuff about, but good size uh, sink area and another mirror behind. 
And then you can even make a telephone call from the bathroom if you want. And of course the hairdryer for the ladies. Or of course, gentlemen who like to preen. So, I'll go to the balcony and show you what we've got out there. I'm impressed with the hotel in all honesty. This is the fourth time I've visited Turkey and it's the third different hotel I've stopped in. And it's been the best hotel that I've stopped in so far. So I would say if you were coming to the Marmaris area that the Setia Beach is definitely one that's worth investigating. So just to warn you as we go outside, that is very easy to trip over, as I have done. So outside it's April, and the weather's decent, a bit breezy, but it's sunny. You can't expect it to be uh, scorching temperatures at this time of year. And then on the balcony itself, you've got your table and chairs, and of course the comedy uh, English spelling. You spot children. Can you pleasure? Love it. There are some funny things like that that we spotted on the safe um, for the German instructions there in English and for the English instructions there in German. Which was quite amusing. Anyway, just one last pan around the room. So the Setia Beach Hotel at Marmaris. And then I'll spend the rest of this footage just showing you shots around the hotel itself and of the entertainment. Uh, which has been generally quite uh, amusing, light-hearted and quite fun. And the staff have been lovely, very, very friendly. So the lifts at Asima lifts. This is the other lift on the corridor. There's a stripe, a slightly pungent smell in here. Not sure what, but this is a lift all the way down to the uh, restaurant and beach with a view. A bit slower than the other one. This is the bar, which is quite a nice bar actually.
Okay? Yep. You go for it.
Bibi. 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 Seven. This is the view from the fifth floor, looking away from the sea. It's 4.30 in the morning. 